Indianapolis Colts have a chance to make it six wins in a row against the slumping Jacksonville Jaguars down in the Sunshine State on Sunday afternoon in Week 13 NFL action. The Colts, who were a three-point favorite at home in Week 10, are now a four-and-a-half-point road favorite against the Jaguars. The Colts are hoping that the Houston Texans will slow down in order to make things interesting in the AFC South. The Colts started 1-5, but have won five straight, and are just below the cut line in the AFC playoff chase. First-year head coach Frank Reich has the Colts firing on all cylinders on offense. The Colts have scored at least 27 points in each of the last five games of this winning streak and have made their way into the top five scoring offenses in the NFL. Indianapolis is also a top 10 in yards gained. As a result, the Colts went from 1-5 to 6-5 straight up and are 3-1-1 against the spread in the last five to improve to 5-5-1 five, five and one against the spread on the season. Even with offensive numbers like that, the sports books have had a good handle on their totals as the over is just 6-5. and five. In today's NFL, protecting the quarterback is the most important responsibility for the offense. The Colts have done that with Andrew Luck. Luck went five straight games without getting sacked until he was dropped once by the Miami Dolphins in last week's 27-24 win. Luck has thrown 32 touchdown passes against just 11 interceptions and is posting the highest quarterback rating and QBR of his career. He will be without Jack Doyle for the rest of the season, but Eric Ebron, who has 11 touchdowns on the season, has been reborn in Indy. T.Y. Hilton remains a big play threat with 15.8 yards per catch. We'll have to see about the status of Marlon Mack, who left last week's game with a concussion. But the improved offensive line play has allowed the Colts to rush for 4.5 yards per carry, and Mack leads the team with 5.1. This is legitimately now a top 10 offense. Playing defense in the NFL is hard these days, and sometimes the best defense is a great offense. Indianapolis leads the league in third down conversion rate, and that has allowed a young and fast defense to overachieve a little bit this season. Last year's magical run to the AFC Championship game seems like a decade ago for the 3-8 Jacksonville Jaguars, who are just 3-6-2 against the spread. Jacksonville is in the basement in the AFC South by two games. Offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett, a close friend of head coach Doug Marone, was just fired. So times are desperate in Jacksonville, and jobs are on the line. Leonard Fournette's job is not on the line, however, but he won't be on the field this week after an altercation in the game against the Buffalo Bills. That means that TJ Yeldon will assume the role as the feature back, but he'll do so with a new starting quarterback, Cody Kessler. The Jaguars have pulled the plug on Blake Bortles, who has taken 27 sacks this season and has a 13-10 touchdown interception ratio. Kessler was 21 of 30 passing in his only game action of this season against the Texans in Week 7. Top offensive lineman Andrew Norwell was finally put on IR, so Kessler inherits a pretty dire situation. The Jacksonville defense seems to have set the bar way too high. After finishing second in the league with 33 takeaways and first in yards per play allowed last season, regression seemed inevitable. But falling this far was not expected. This is the most interesting line of the weekend. Leonard Fournette accounts for maybe a point on the spread, but this line has moved as high as 7.5 points from the meeting a few weeks ago when accounting for home field advantage. The Jaguars look like a defeated team, so even though we're being forced to pay an inflated price, the road favorites are the preferred side in this matchup. Cody Kessler has nothing to lose, and the Jaguars may be a little bit more creative with a new offensive coordinator, Scott Milanovic. So we'll also look to side with the over 47.5 points on this game. The Jacksonville defense managed to hold the Colts to 27 points, but Indianapolis led up after jumping out to a big lead. Don't be surprised if Frank Reich tries to send a message by driving the final nail into the Jaguar season here in Week 13. Our pick and prediction is for the Indianapolis Colts, both straight up and against the spread, and for this game to go over the total of 47.5 points. Want some free money? Click over to BetDSI.com and get up to $500 free cash to move your bets along when you open an account today. Join all the action with a few fun and exciting wagers because it's only a game until you bet it.